If you guys want to win more games, get innovative plays and updated game metas, then visit trythisplay.com and use code NOBLE at checkout for 10% off your purchases. Link is in the description. He is Pitt Cooper. Off to the races for the touchdown. What's up today, my fellow man and soldiers? So, what I'm be doing right now is another Dallas Cowboy theme team update. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So, the person we're gonna be adding to the squad, or he's already added to the squad, is Alden Smith, right? Um, I already fully powered him up, but I know a lot of you guys still gonna want to look at him fully powered up because some of you guys may not have him. You might want to see if it's worth it and so forth. So I have Sprinter. I have so much things on him, right? Another thing too is I want to show you how I went about going and getting him and also getting his power up, right? Because his power up, it wasn't that it was hard to get his power up, um, only at certain times, but it's just his power up was going for so much, right? So we're checking all that out, um, as well as um, Alden Smith's stats. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and show you his stats, and I'm going to show you how I went about getting them. So let me activate the Dallas Cowboy theme team. Um, I actually have on my goon squad, which is not really a goon squad so much because I haven't, as you can tell, I've been stacking up my coins. I haven't been really buying anyone. So my main focus is Cowboys. Any Cowboys that come out, I try to focus on getting those right now. So anyways, let's, all, let's go over here, go over here and uh, check them out, right? Here's Alden Smith right here. Fully powered up. He's all the way up to a 91. So let's see how he's looking. So Alden Smith right now, he got Sprinter. He's able to get the plus one speed. He wasn't able to get plus two speed on Dallas Cowboys because we can't max out Sprinter, right? We don't have enough elites. The Cowboys don't have enough elite players for, in order for me to max out Sprinter, just to let you guys know that. So, but we do have one plus speed from the Sprinter, Sprinter as well as times two speed because we have 50 components of Dallas Cowboys on our squad. So he comes in at 6'4", which he's taller than De Demarcus Lawrence. He's 82 speed, 89 acceleration, 83 strength, 90 tackle, 90 play rec, 84 block shift, 91 power move, and 89 finesse move. So I'm not gonna sit here and say that he's actually a great player on the squad. I don't I really haven't uh played with them on or I haven't played with them online. Um I want to make sure I did this video yet, and I also was I was really hoping that they released a Tony Romo or some other Cowboys, so I've been patiently awaiting before I did the gameplay. So what I'm going to end up doing, just so you guys know, um, they might end up coming up with a new player, um, a Cowboy player, and if they do, I might end up doing a gameplay bef um, before that, and if, you, if I end up releasing a gameplay and you don't see that new Cowboy player on the squad, that's probably going to be the reason why, is because I've been waiting. I was really hoping that they release uh, Tony Romo more someone else i already had a feeling waiting for these legends and so forth so i was like i'm just gonna wait to do the gameplay but it's been so long and i know you guys want a gameplay so i'm gonna start doing a few gameplays and i'm gonna go ahead and release them and uh give you guys some gameplay right so that's how he's looking right there he got eight, so that's his stats um let's see let me see what else he got as a word is catching a 60 it's actually not bad the catching for a d lineman so he's not bad 90 tackle 90 tackle is pretty good 87 jumping is actually good too so we got that going on let me see what else we got going block shit and all that oh that's what i want to add right now okay okay i know i was missing something i had I, I was missing something his abilities right let's go ahead and check out his abilities i know i was missing something okay so now let's go ahead and check out his abilities so you're gonna see all the abilities that he gets that he now that he's fully powered up so let's check out his x factor right so he gets fear monger he gets unstoppable force he gets reinforcement blitz relentless run stuffer momentum shift and selfless first tier abilities he's gonna get uh adrenaline rush bogo extra credit mr big stop indoor baller homer um spinner swim club and ripper all right so second tier abilities Instant rebate clutch, speedster, reach elite, stonewall, under pressure, stick, secure tackler, unfakeable, unpredictable, adrenaline rush, bogo, extra credit, Mr. Big Stop, indoor baller, homer, spinner, swim club, and then ripper. Third tier abilities, just so you guys know, I think he does get edge threat elite or edge throw, is it? Where is it at? Uh, 
Here he goes. Edge threat. He don't get edge threat elite, but he gets edge threat. Or does he? Where is this it? Let's reach elite. So he gets edge threat, right? Which I am going to be adding on him. Just to see if it, it hasn't really been effective this year. But I'm going to add it on him just to see if it makes a big difference, right? Um, so I will put that on him. He gets double or nothing. On um, This is a third tier abilities. He gets defensive rally, which added pass rush point to all linemen on third and fourth down. Which is actually pretty good. Al Toro. Toro. Um, goal line stuff, inside stuff. So basically, he gets all the same stuff that he gets on uh, the first and second tier. He just got a uh, edge straight elite. So that's what it's looking like. Anything, anything different? No, and out of my way, I guess. So maybe eventually he'll get uh, enforcer once he gets 90 hit power if he ever gets that right. All right, so it's Cowboy Kim. We got 52 out of 50. Um, he gets Raider Kim and the San Francisco 49er Kim for those who are wondering. Then we put times two lockdown. That's all he could get. He can't get uh, any more. Then we put Sprinter on him. So we got Sprinter on. Yeah, as you can tell, we got 26 out of 40. We need 40 out of 40 in order to get that time two speed. And his other positions is he gets right in, left outside linebacker, and right outside linebacker. Most likely, I'll keep him as a DN. Um, and it, if you want his uh, the Raider... Uniform, he got. I guess he gets it right here on his actual uh, regular card art, the last card he had. So there it is there. So now that you see, so this is a squad right here. We're 87. I think our defense is at 89. We'll go ahead and check that right now. But I, before I, before I, oh, we'll, we'll activate that later on. But before I end it, I want to show you guys how I went about getting them right because there's several. Okay, so our defense is 88. So this is what I did. So we got these challenges, right? These these new challenges. I think they're the te team affinity. Yeah, they're in team affinity, and it's this. It's the team series, team standout series two. I think that's what it is, right? Yeah, because I remember I got 127 and 120. I didn't get to get one of the stars. But anyways, so what you do is you complete all these. You don't have to. You don't have to get all five, four stars like I did. I just did it. It, it wasn't a problem. But you do have to complete every single solo. And once you complete all the... Look, at once you complete all the solos, make sure you do one of the solos again because there's like a glitch. And then you'll get your you'll get your uh, fantasy pack of any of the team standouts. They're all 89 overalls, one from each team. So this is what I did, right? Because I was like, well, I don't want to complete the set because that is, it seems to be that's the only way for me in order to get the power up, right? If I wanted to guarantee a power up. So I was like, I don't want to complete the set because I already completed the team standout, got, got the fantasy pack, and I don't want to end up with another player without also a uh, power up. So I was like, okay, how can I do it? So what's, what, once I finally realized what I could do, what, what I did was I completed the set, which uh, which wasn't that much, right, for me because I had uh, extra team of the week cards from playing the solos and so forth, right? Not much, but I had enough to where it, it worked out for me. So... I completed the set. I got his card. I sold his card for about 150, and then I'll say out of out of the I spent about 60k altogether for the card because it cost me maybe like 220 to complete the set. So I sold his card for 150, um, and then I, I I guess you could say I ended up spending like 60k for the power up, right? Because that in order for me to complete the set, and then I it, what I did was I went to the fantasy pack that I got from the team standouts. I picked Alden Smith and then I powered him up. So that's how I was able to do it. Um, I know a lot of you guys end up probably even uh, getting the power up already or doing what you guys had to do. If you guys didn't, that's a that's another way to do it. Um, and that just goes for any team, whether you're a Cowboy fan or or whatever player that you picked that you wanted to get that player's power up. You could complete the set, get the team affinity got up uh, uh, pack, sell the sell the uh, player that you got, and then end up getting the power up. You know, Diff there's different ways about it. Um, you could do it, but that's how I did. I complete the set. I sold Alden Smith, and then I kept Alden Smith from the team standouts, and it just powered them up. And then I'll say I ended up paying like 60k, still quite a bit, but you know, it, it was taking forever for me to actually get him, so I wanted to make sure I got him. So I want to go like this because uh, I want to see how much his power up is going for. So I'm gonna go power up. Because I realized if you actually put Cowboy, he won't come up. I don't know why for his power, but he won't come up. So just so you guys know that. So here he is right here. So he actually went. He's still a lot. 
so 106k so some of you guys may be completing the set and selling the card off and it still end up paying about that much for the card so it'd be better off just buying the power up if that's the case so we got some more power ups now and i think a lot of people are getting ready for most feared and other things going on so his power will be going down more if you guys just want to wait i already know that but like i said it was worth it to me because i paid about 60k for it so that's the update to the dallas cowboy theme team we're 87 overall our defense is 88 and i expect some more cards coming soon um i will be doing another video i want to do a gameplay for you guys but i also want to do another video because i want to add a bit more abilities to the squad i got the training and then i'm gonna say the training for other players i want to power up right so just expect some more videos i'm not doing that much videos back to back like i used to but i will still be uploading occasionally because i do like playing the game just not as much as i did before because there's so much going on but anyways there it is there if you guys like what you've seen drop a like if you guys need subs up to the channel there will be more great amazing content coming your way thank you guys all for tuning in i'm out